In this video, we will demonstrate how SRX series devices can be configured to operate in cluster mode. Cluster mode is where a pair of devices can be connected together and configured to operate as a single device in order to provide high availability. With MIST, we are able to cluster our SRX devices and SSR devices automatically. At this point, we are already logged into the MIST portal and we are currently looking at the WAN Edges page. Two devices have already been onboarded using zero touch provisioning. During that process, the boxes are connected to the network and are powered on. They phone home automatically to the MIST cloud and they onboard themselves. By looking at the site column, we can see that no sites have been assigned to our SRX 300s. We can assign sites to both of these devices at the same time because both devices are of the same model. Once the devices have been selected, the More button will appear in the top right corner of the screen. We'll click the More button and then we'll click the Assign to Site option. In the Assign WAN Edges window, we'll click the drop down to select a site to assign to the selected devices. Note, the action of putting the device into a site is what builds the cluster. We will discuss the role that sites play in SRX clustering later in this video. Notice the Create Cluster option. Note, the Create Cluster option will not be available if the user has selected a single device or if the selected devices are not matching models. Once the Create Cluster option has been selected, notice that the Manage Configuration with MIST option is automatically selected and grayed out. This means that when we create the cluster, it will be MIST managed. Now we'll click on the Assign to Site button to save the changes. We can see that the two devices have been assigned a new site. Now we'll click Close to close the window. At this point, on the SRX platform, the box needs to be rebooted from standalone mode to cluster mode. This is normally a manual process that the user would have to go through. With MIST, however, this process has been automated. MIST will run the correct commands on each box individually to build them into a cluster. Note, this process can take up to 15 minutes to complete. At this point, the device is connected to the MIST cloud. We can see that the device has a double graphic next to it, indicating that the two devices have been clustered. Now we'll click on the arrow to the left of the row to expand more information. The box is connected, and we can see both serial numbers listed in the serial number column, which is another indication that the two devices have been clustered successfully. To see more detailed information on the clustered devices, we can click on the row. We are now brought to the WAN Edges page. At the top of the page, we see both nodes listed. MIST will automatically assign the lower MAC address to node 0, or the primary node, and the higher MAC address to node 1, or the secondary node. We can also use the secondary and primary buttons at the top left of the page to see information about the individual nodes. In the top right section of the page, we can click on either of the fabric interfaces. This will draw a line between the two interfaces, indicating their connection. Scrolling down on the page, in the Properties section, we can see that there is a template bound to the site. A full configuration was delivered to the device because of the template that is bound. It is important to note that the action of putting the device into a site is what builds the cluster. We will click on the template now to see more information. Notice that within a template, once we click on the interface name, in this case WAN0, we have the ability to configure the elements that we want to be configured on the device. For example, we can enter the names of the interfaces that we want to be redundant, and we can indicate that the nodes are redundant. Navigating back to the WAN Edges page, we see the WAN Edge Insights link. Clicking on this link will bring us to the Insights page where we can gather details about what is going on with the device. For example, we see events for config changed by user and WAN edge connected. From the list of events, we can see that the configuration was delivered to the device. Therefore, we know that this is now a working node within our SD-WAN environment. At the bottom of the page, we can see that tunnels were built and BGP was stood up for our cluster. 
That concludes this video on how to create an SRX cluster. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.